My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 1968 Bronco here. It's been body off the frame restoration. Wait till you see underneath of it. It's painted as nice as the top side. Everything's been redone under the truck. These are wildly popular these days, selling over $100,000 on a regular basis at the auctions. I've seen them do two and $300,000. People relate to these. I think that's why they're so popular. This was Ford's first SUV vehicle. Anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you can find the price. I'm not asking anywhere near $100,000. And you also find all the specs and pictures top to bottom. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in a four-wheel drive 68 Bronco. This was restored 2016. I do have a folder with a bunch of receipts for a lot of the work that had been done to it. They did lift the body off the frame. The hole underneath the truck is all clean metal. It's not under coat or uh, you know, full of tar or anything like that. It's all clean metal. It's painted the same color, just as glossy. The whole chassis was restored. I mean, right down to the cutter pins, nuts, bolts, everything looks new on the chassis. It's all painted semi-gloss black. They upgraded all of the bushings to red polyurethane bushings. The body bushings, suspension bushings, steering bushings, they've all been replaced. <clears throat> it has Rancho shocks front and back, and it also has a Rancho steering dampener. It looks like a factory style exhaust system. It's new and it's all welded. There's no uh, clamped together parts. The brakes have all been redone and you can see new hoses, new lines, e-brake cable system looks like it's hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's super clean. All the bolts on the oil pan look fresh. The freeze plugs in the side of the block are fresh. Uh, I did notice it is dated. Uh, 1960, late 67 or 68, so it's the correct manual three-speed uh, for the Bronco. This one has a hydraulic clutch. I don't know if it came that way or if that was added, but it has a hydraulic clutch. Uh, of course, it's four-wheel drive. I noticed U-joints front and back. The U-joints look like they've been replaced. Uh, it's got dual gas tanks, and it's all new. It's a, got the receipt for it. It's a new fuel tank assembly kit. They're Composite tanks, two of them, one in the back, one under the side, new sending units, hoses, the whole kit that's all been replaced. Uh, so like I said, underneath is uh, practically uh, new and it's all clean and detailed. The body's all metal, there's no rust. They did replace fenders, rockers, lower quarters, uh, inner fender wells, wheelhouses, wheelhouse extensions. It's all been replaced, so it's all metal. Uh, it's been painted since 2016. It still is holding up really well. Looks really nice. Picked a really bright color, sharp looking. I, I love it. I seen a picture. It got texted to me on my phone. Second I seen it, it's like, oh, I want that. Uh, it's a really nice bright green, like a lime green. And it has some blacked out uh, features like on the tailgate. And uh, it's got these nice uh, fender flares. The side stripes with the bucking Bronco and the hood patch. Also has these nice custom mirrors, dual uh, fuel fillers, like I said. The top has all been restored. It's all painted as smooth satin black. It has a roof rack, and you probably can't notice, but it has a sunroof as well. Tinted, real tinted glass. And we got new door handles, new vent window frames in rubber. It was $550 for the two. It sounded expensive, but I have the receipt. It's a new windshield with gasket, new wiper arm assemblies. All new uh, front and rear chrome bumpers with the bumperettes, new bumper bolts that came as a whole kit. New uh, bezels, marker lights, emblems, blacked out grill. New tires, Mickey Thompson tires. They're 15 by 8, uh, and it has 
Kenda or Kendra all-terrain tires. All, when I say new, it was all 2016 when it was restored. New door uh, handles and the whole latch mechanism assembly, it's all been replaced. New fuzzy strips in here, new weather strips around the doors. Tailgate functions really nice. It's all carpeted in here. New uh, side panels. It has a whole new headliner kit, so it's finished off very nicely inside. Oh, it's got a tilt column, I just noticed. And it's got a nice cushion grip, Grant uh, GT wheel, some nice sports seats, very comfy. They recline. Uh, the three-speed was removed from the column and put down on the floor. It's a Hearst three-speed. It's probably why it has a tilt column in there now. They bought a new column to get rid of the shifter. Uh, and on the receipts, all the switches, wiper switch, heater blower switch, headlight dimmer switch, brake switch, all those have been replaced. New carpet in the front as well. And I drove this uh, Bronco home one night. I mean, it's still an old Bronco, but it drove really well. I've been in some of these where it's like scary. It's like, oh my God, how did the guy drive it here? Uh, this one actually drove nice, accelerated, shifted, uh, did really well actually. Um, I went on to drive it around town that night. I had to run a couple errands, so I put a few miles on it, and I really liked it. Okay, I just opened this a minute ago. Here it is. Ugh. That's a heavy hood. Stainless steel prop rod, a new uh, hood latch assembly, interstate battery, new cables, has a big disconnect switch. Everything in here is beautiful. The whole engine bay is painted all nice, clean, green metal. And all the wires and screws and clamps and everything I'm looking at looks new or restored. Has a new fan shroud. The overflow bottle's hooked up. Does have seat belts, retractable belts. It has a console in between the seats there. New door panels, armrests, window cranks. Those have been replaced. You know, new hardware on the hinges. Getting back in here, the fuel pump, uh, distributor cap, the wires all look new. The carburetor is rebuilt, has an upgraded uh, washable filter. The nuts and bolts have been replaced. The pulleys, the fan, everything looks really nice. I'm gonna start it up. It's got a modern stereo and it's got the little microphone on the visor so it's hands-free, has an auxiliary plug. I didn't really mess with that. There's a remote still sitting here in the baggie. Got a manual uh, throttle on the dash if you needed it. Center console's nice, has some storage, has cup holders. Of course, it is a four wheel drive. New horns, all new steering uh, linkage. Tailgate's painted real nice. Door jams are nice. So there you have it. This thing is just cool. I just love the look of it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be out driving with this, getting all sorts of compliments and feeling really good about it. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this Bronco. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. 
They will answer any specific concerns or questions to the best of their ability. If you just enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next video posted. And I also forgot to mention we do have financing, and we can ship this anywhere in the country. Go to volocars.com if you're interested in that. Thank you.